back to another Shade Sound episode. Today, let's work on finishing this tree farm. So, to kind of give you an idea of how it's working, sorry, <laughs> got a text. But to give you an idea, uh, you will come out on the main road and or path, and then the trees will be growing basically like that. I think I'm gonna leave the dirt kind of like this. I might put a stair there, but I don't have any on me to try it. But I want to be able to come and harvest and move on and automatically collect all of the leaves, or well, saplings, and uh, any apples and stuff that fall. Especially on things where uh, the drop rate isn't the best. So especially on like this dark oak and on jungle wood. I definitely want to collect everything there and so the idea that I had is if we build it like uh, I have over there you will have actually let's just do it over there <laughs> the test so if you come in like this you know and you do your you harvest your tree and you harvest all of them and then replant I don't have a sapling so we'll wait for that part but we can do this part okay come like this and if we put a minecart track all the way underneath that goes like kind of the whole way and covers all the area something like that and then do a hopper with minecart underneath this guy should come and pick up everything that falls so you don't even need to worry about it so let's uh, oop, let's throw a sapling so let's say a sapling oop, if I can get it let's say a sapling good we got two let's say a sapling falls right there and let's say one falls uh, let's plant one so we planted um, replanted our saplings then we moved on right and by chance a leaf up there leaf up there, dropped a sapling right on top of the wood. Or, <laughs> sorry, I can't talk and chew bubblegum. Or walk and chew bubblegum. Throw that. Come on, guys. Let's do this. And land. Where we want? Up there. Not right there. Land right there. There we go. Is it there? I don't see it. Yeah, it's there, okay. So you know, a sapling falls there, another one falls right there, okay? So we have a sapling right there and right there. Then the minecart comes by and doesn't do squat. Why didn't you pick those saplings up? You should, you should, you should. Did you pick up the one that's up there? I think it picked up one of them. Yeah, it picked up one of them. Why didn't you pick up all of it? So this might not work. We might have to rethink this. Come on. Oh yeah, it picked it up. That one's bugged up there. That one actually hasn't fallen. See? But that one didn't pick up either. Hmm. I need like a hundred percent pickup rate on some of these. Okay, so it just picked up the one I just threw. Yep. You gonna pick that one up? Yep. And... Looks like it picked them all, so there should be, what, five? Yeah. Okay, so I think that'll work. So let me go ahead and... Come on, kill the zombie. I'm kind of laggy. Let me go ahead and run the minecart track uh, through all underneath and then we will get to actually building in the trees. Well, as you see, I am back at the XP farm. As you also see, I have iron and iron. I went AFK to help my kid with something and 
a spider killed me and I was gone <laughs> like a noob I didn't log out so I had a pretty good score though I had like 28,000 points uh, I didn't take time to record it because I wanted to hurry and see if I could get back and get my stuff but it was already despawned so here we are but uh anyways kind of a bummer I gotta get things built back up so let me do that and I will see you later well after working some of that enchanting and combining this is what I got I got a power 4 on breaking 2 punch 1 I'd rather have flame on it but you get what you get I did score on the sword though I got a sharpness for looting three sword so hopefully I can keep that from breaking um, an almost perfect work pickaxe I got efficiency four on breaking three and efficiency five on breaking three on the shovel and I actually uh, combined an old uh, unbreaking three shovel uh, and got an efficiency five enchant on that first try so that is where we are on that um, as you see, I have the rail systems put in. It was a little bit tricky. Originally, when I put the rails in, I had it have um, going through one path through the whole thing. You know, so one mine cart would go and pick up everything, one or two mine carts. But it was taking six minutes for the mine cart to go the whole way. And then I was like, well, I could work out a circuit where I send a couple mine carts and a couple minutes later send a couple more. Um, but eventually I decided against it and broke every single section into its own path. So as you see, this minecart will pick up the drops in this area and then come back here and return and go. And then this, the same on this one here, it'll pick up the drops uh, from these dark oak. And if you can see, following that diagonal uh, breaks off into another section. So anyways, right now all six of these are, um, the minecarts are just going on their own. Um, there's no like, they just loop. There's no dump area, there's nothing like that. And I will work on that later, but I wanted to get the actual farm uh, built and kind of put together. So let me prep a little bit for that, get some materials made and stuff, and I will see you in a second. So unfortunately when I died, I used up a bunch of my gold. I lost it. So <laughs> I have no powered rails. Or I lost those actually. But while I'm here getting the gold, let me show you what progress has been made. As you see, um, this one's done like before, but I have worked in almost all of the rest. Um, I still have to work out the blue circuit which is the minecart circuit uh, on these other two aisles but this is coming along um, maybe next episode we will go on to the next part of this brewing plant uh, so this is getting pretty close I'm getting excited to get this one done um, and have basically our potions whenever we want now I needed the powered rails because I ended up expanding the size of the farm just a little bit um, this birch section over here I moved it over two more rows I think let's see one two yeah so I just have to add um, a little bit of uh, stuff here just to uh, have the minecart pick up the whole thing so let's do that real quick send that guy off that way See all that lag? Plop these down like so, something like this. So we're going to put a powered rail in, uh, kind of in more places than we need just to be safe and make sure that the minecart won't get jammed. Uh, right now the minecart's jamming basically just because uh, mobs are spawning and getting in the way. Now I don't know, I don't think spiders can spawn on rails. 
if they can, I got a problem and I've got to light up all of this because right now I don't have it lit. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we'll see what happens with that. But anyways, let's uh, send that on its way. Make sure we're good. Goes that way. Goes back and starts its loop. Okay, we're good. So now let's uh do a little bit of design first. Uh, let's dump stuff in these chests for a minute. Okay, I'm looking for fences. I think I have them over here somewhere. There's a few. Grab those sticks while we're here. Um, let me turn down a couple of things. Let's go friendly creatures. <laughs> If you notice the cats, obviously, right here. <laughs> My wife's idea, thank you, because I was over here working, and at night, the monsters are insane over here. And I had two times right in a row, I was working in a chest, you know, switching stuff. I had a creeper come and blow up, like, three chests. Just as I get the chest replaced and the stuff put back, another creeper blew it up again. So my wife's like, oh, let me, let me bring over some of my cats and... Uh, like a good cat woman, she is uh, getting rid of the creepers. And I'm joking, she's not a cat woman. <laughs> not at all. But, back to this. She's still going to work on landscaping this, probably put some flower pots down in here, stuff like that. But, uh, I want to build up fences around this uh, to try to keep mobs basically from getting... I want to make it harder for mobs to get in this area because I do plan to go AFK in here to uh, use the skeleton farm and I don't want to die obviously so I was thinking if we take fences and go like that and kind of wrap it it'll still look good it'll add a little more depth you know so you feel like you're really in a hole on this fountain and my kids hitting the door in the back one second so I think this will look pretty well. Let's uh, let's put it on this side, just to get an idea. Um, I'm leaving these open so I can get in and out of each se each section because this the half slabs kind of prevent me from moving around. Just in case you're wondering. Okay, so something like that. Yeah, I think that'll feel good, especially as we get you know some better landscaping some ferns or too tall grass or something to to break up that fence line okay and then let me show you what I was thinking now this is gonna be a little bit plain um, over here but it works out pretty uh, slick once the trees are there and stuff I think it'll look okay but we'll come along and put cobblestone half slabs clear through the thing like this okay something like that I might end up doing a border I probably more than likely will um, do a border of this like a two wide border I can't justify going three wide of this uh, wood around the outside but we'll see how it looks with just this for now you know, I can just go like that actually. That'll speed things up. But go something like this and uh oh. Hmm. <laughs> okay, there's our exit. Remind me not to block that off if I fall down. So if I fall down. Okay. Something like so. And then for the trees. These trees are nice because you can put them really close together. Birch trees drop saplings pretty easily, so I don't care that the leaves touch each other and kind of overlap and stuff like that because it's pretty easy to get saplings out of these. Now, jungle wood and dark oak will definitely be placed further apart so that the leaves, leaves don't overlap. Uh, the logic behind that is you don't want to you basically want to have as many chances of saplings dropping as possible so you want each tree to have its own group of leaves because uh, if they overlap 
you don't have as many leaves available for saplings. So anyway, something like this, and I left the dirt up like that. I, I tend to like it better like that. Let me grab some saplings, I'll show you why. And hey, now that we have our um, skelly farm going, we can grab some of those as well. Okay, birch saplings. I know I gotta have some. Somewhere. There's one. Woohoo! One birch sapling. Playing with the big boys. Well, I just grew that one, and we're get, while that's gonna drop some saplings, let me uh, finish placing this stone and dirt. But yeah, more and more I see this, more and more I think I'm really gonna want the uh, uh, trail around the end. In fact, let's kind of uh, lay out how it's gonna end up on the end here. So I do that there, it works out. Man, I can't decide. Uh, let's try it with it real packed in and see how that looks. Um, and I told myself I wasn't gonna block that, but I kinda want to right now. So this is to maximize how many trees will fit. Another sapling, let's grow those real quick. Throw one right there, right there. Grow, grow, harvest. Uh, just to build up my saplings. I have some at our main base, but I don't feel like running back there right now. Oh, one thing you'll notice too. <laughs> notice there's not many mobs. I, I torch spammed this area because uh, even with those cats there, it was quite annoying to have to fight them all the time. So I torch spammed it, and now I can work at peace out here. There we go. So I honestly don't mind that look at all, especially with the trees there. Um, let's grow a couple more saplings. You know what? I wonder if that's picked any up by chance. Come on. Oh, just uh, and this guy. Yeah, I think more and more. That one took a while to grow. Wonder why. Um, more and more, I think I'm gonna like uh, without the uh, border around it. Okay, got those uh, built up. Looks like I need to plant one more right there. We'll let those uh, grow. But let's start working on the acacia. Now the acacia drops saplings pretty well, but it's a little bit harder to harvest. These ones are pretty cookie cutter because they're only, you know, straight up. And that the acacia is a little bit different. So I, I still think you don't need to, like, I think you can always reach the the wood from the ground level. Um, Maybe not, I'm not sure. So this one we might change around, but I was thinking we should put these maybe three apart. And, or I guess four apart. So we place that, whoops, let's grab a cobblestone slab and go one, two, three, and then place one. One, two, three, place one. Let's see how this turns out uh, with the length. Now, I haven't, length of this is not predetermined. I kind of just set, built a length and said, oh, let's just go with that. So we'll see what happens. One, two, three, and it leaves a little bit. Uh, we'll leave it like that for now. Okay, so let's fill in here. Now, this one, oops, darn it, did not want to do that. Um, for the acacia, though, I was thinking of staggering it. You know how these are in perfect rows? These ones I think I'll stagger. Um, mainly because if I do need to stand on the dirt, because I need that little extra height, I don't think it'll matter, but anyway, staggering it will give me more chances to stand on dirt and reach the wood that grows out sideways. I don't know. 
This is this one's just kind of ad lib, however it feels. So if we go something like that, then we have one, two, three. Block that out, so it'll be right there. One, two, three, right there. Okay, so little those will be like that. Ooh, that kind of looks pretty good actually. So that's an option, or you go one, two, three, and right here, and stagger them like that. I really like this. Um, part of the reason, when these all grow, you're gonna see a huge like all you're gonna see is birch um, wood right there, and I kind of want to match that color, you know, to show the color fade from light to dark a little better. And whoops. And I think that because the acacia grows so high and that you would see gaps in between if I don't stagger something like that, I'm changing my mind. What if we staggered it like there? Yeah, that's actually what we would need to do. Okay, yeah, that's what I had in mind like that. So we would add one right here and one right there. Okay, so then you got, oh I hear slime. So hopefully that slime does not end or screw up that cart. I wonder if this picked anything up. Oh it has. Come back. Stop. Thank you. You go on your merry little way. Uh, that's my way out right there. Okay, go ahead. I know I'm talking to a minecart. Okay, so back to this. Let's uh, let's follow that pattern. In fact, right now, let's plant the acacia and start generating saplings off of this because I'm gonna need more. I think maybe a little bit more, not a lot more. Okay. Yeah, I think this will look good. Um, so staggering it will really let you see the acacia wood better uh, when you look into it. Basically, let me come over here. So you see how you can see more of the dirt. So it, even though they're not as close as the birch, um, they look that close because it looks like there's only one gap, if that makes sense. Now this one wasn't near as hard to do actually, probably because they're so spread out. Um, I do need to, uh, not breed, I always want to say breed. I do need to harvest a few saplings uh, to finish planting, but that I think is how we will do the acacia. That's that. Oh, one other thing. I was looking at this and I kind of like how it comes down like that and goes up, but I don't want that block there. I wonder what it'll look like if I put a staircase. And I don't think I have a staircase on me, so let's build one. Made it look something like this. Come up like that, cut that out, cut that out. Something like that. Yeah, that way it still feels, you know, kind of like a U entrance, more inviting. Uh, birch is growing in. I think it's looking pretty good. Let me show you. Let's look from back here. So you have the birch tree saying, hey, this is birch, and then, you know, the solid color behind it. The acacia will be the same. You'll have that one and all of it behind. So let's start working on oak. Okay, you've done a little bit, actually a lot more work. Uh, as you see, we... Uh, Got the oak side completely done, uh, built. I didn't want to have to mine the gigantic oak, so we put glass up there. Now there's nine blocks, it's the ninth block uh, above. So there's eight spaces, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then the glass, basically to keep them from growing into the gigantic oak. That's also continued over onto this side, which is going to be uh, the jungle trees, and I think I have some jungle tree saplings actually. I think my wife brought some over. Let's go look. 
but as you saw, that uh, glass is, there they are, um, I, I'm starting to build a structure on it, uh, kind of a, kind of make a greenhouse feel, um, it is green stained glass, and this border here, actually let's just run around, see if there's a path through somewhere, that border, uh, angles right here, kind of follows this trail right here and angles and goes over. Now, and I'll put um, some on the back. The thing is on it, it's very flat. Um, we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's uh, throw some of these jungle trees down. Now I chose this pattern here because this maximizes, again, the chance of getting uh, sapling drops. So on this pattern, are these not going to grow with that? Hmm. Let's grab some of those. You going to grow? <gasps> You're not going to grow. Hmm, I'm going to have to change that up a bit. I'll do some tests on that uh, and fix it before next episode. But that building will come this way as well. And then here's the dark oak. I'm still trying to breed up some, uh, well not breed up, but still trying to build up some uh, saplings to be able to plant. I need three more trees worth. So these are a lot further apart again because I didn't want uh, to reduce the rate chances of getting saplings. But uh, each one of these, since it's a two by two, you know, counts as technically four single trunks. So even though they're further apart, they're still produces it still produces enough wood and then uh, of course the um, spruce I almost called it dark oak <laughs> but these are just uh, four apart every four spaces on a grid straight grid they're not staggered so this episode I think that's plenty of progress um, the things left to do on this is to uh, round up the mine carts and create a drop location for them and then like I said that platform up there the the cover it's really flat um, I kinda wanna build uh, some sort of house or something I'm picturing maybe with a little water coming through not house but you know a, a gabled roof uh, up there so that will probably be another episode too well we we had some uh, attention right there so anyways guys thanks so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and as always have a great day